All right. But like low elo is more about waiting for people to make mistakes instead of looking out play. It's everything. It's both. Doesn't just have to be one. So I mean, looking at their team, you kind of just rationalize how can they kill me with your champion. This is understanding and champion comfort. This is understanding how your champion works. So I mean, they all have to go into my face. They all have to be in front of me to damage me. So first things first, red smite, easy peasy. Trinket is fine. Um, actually, it's Gwen mid, Victor bot lane. They're very AP heavy. The only AD is Master Yi, but I could stop Master Yi like this with CC. We have a decent amount of it. I mean, me, Leona, even uh, Fiora has her parry, but we do have a lot of CC. That's the easiest way to beat Yi. He's a hyper carry, but he, I mean, you CC him, he's fucked. Um, so, I mean, we're going to path down Bob. This is just because full clearing is the most simple and easiest way. No, no, come leash. Think about Fiora versus Malphite level one. There's absolutely zero kill potential. My AD carry wastes is flash level one, by the way. I don't know that, but... but um, there's very little kill potential level 1 for Fiora versus Malphite. I know that for a fact. Would you still play well in Blue King? Yeah. If you're looking for team fighting as opposed to mid picks. I mean, that's fine. Weak side me? I mean, yeah. Weak side is pretty much... I usually do weak side my top lane when I play Kane because bot side gives you two people to farm orbs off of. Oh, that was pretty bad. Leaves. That sucks, but whatever. Um, looks like enemy jung starts red, so you can tell where he's going to start. Masty's a full clear type champ, so I'm not really too worried. Yeah, it's gonna fuck my clear pretty bad. T Yerk. Tarek Yi combo is very broken. Yeah, but the thing is, you just have to know how to play around it. Separate them, and or you just kill Yi before Tarek ult goes off. I mean, not too hard. Plus, I think they nerfed the fact that you can, like, stun people as you're in, in Q or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got a really, really shit leash. My Who should I took, took me 2.15 to clear Krugs. Normally it takes you 2.10. 2.10 is your, your typical time clearing Krugs. That took me 2.15. That was bad. Um, okay, but he should be farming his Raptors and now heading over to Wolves soon. I mean, probably still on his Raptors, finishing Wolves right now. Or no, all right, I said that backwards. Finishing Raptors right now. Should be on his Wolves soon. You learn and get good. Playing a lot, losing a lot, watching a lot. If your goal is to be good, you can be good. It just takes the effort, I guess. Oh, wait, that's Gwen Bot. What the hell? Gwen Bot. Huh, that's new. Okay, so he should be like approaching his blue buff right now. I doubt he'd be on it, but we'll see. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Fiora doesn't really have to worry for like a couple more seconds. Master would be level 3. Probably not able to kill Fiora, because Fiora. A uh, slippery champ. Ball lane, we're gonna watch. I think there's some shenanigans going on. I can probably run straight there because she's gonna go all in on the Draven here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, she only really has one in. See, notice this wave, it's building up, it's shoving. And this is pretty much where you would shove. A lot of people would consider this taxing, it's not. Shoving this wave is because it's going to bounce back. So this is actually prepping yourself for the next gank. So notice, it shoves in, right? And now the wave's going to bounce back, and then it's going to be shoving into my favor, which means I can gank them again. But I'd say it's going to take a little bit of time, but that, in that meantime, I'm going to farm my topside camps again. So we saw Massey mid. He didn't farm two of his camps, which means either his Krugs or his Raptors could be up, or maybe he didn't farm sc Scuttle yet. So what I'm assuming is he didn't farm Scuttle, that's 4CS, and didn't farm Krugs, that's another 4CS. So he farmed very slow. And that means I know his Krugs are up still. That, that means I'm going to be very ahead of him. Because he didn't farm one of his main camps. And I'm farming all of my main camps. So this is why farming is so important. I think the Scuttle changes. I mean, it's fine. I don't really notice too much of a difference. Right now, top could be gankable. It's in a very favorable position. But the thing is, I'd have to rely on Fiora playing it properly. And I'm not sure. We're going to see how Malphite steps up. And if he walks up, we can gank him. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now it's all about vision control. This is understanding, like, okay, he's past the point of no return. Now, do we have the proper vision? Can we cut him? And now we just go. He takes the trade and we should be fine. There you go. See, that's why I said it is kind of hard to gank Malphite, even if he's not post six. But see, the thing is what you don't realize about this type of gank twitch shot is that wave setup favors Fiora and she just, Malphite just came back to land and he lost half his HP. That's called a pressure gank. I get orbs from it, so I get a little bit of reward. See, notice he's already pressured most out of lane. So when Fiora gets level 6, because she has the wave advantage here to get more XP to get level 6. 
that means that she will be able to all in the Malphite. Because she'll be six to his five, and if she keeps the wave at a good position, that means she'll get a solo. It's just five and the only thing I risk there is losing the dragon and or bot gank, but the thing is Massey wasn't too ahead, bot lane was shoved in. Losing the dragon would be fine, because that would just tell me that he's not top and I take his top side, so he loses HCS, as opposed to him taking forever to get the dragon. When do you gank mid? You can gank mid whenever, it's just really about like if you feel like the lane should be ganked or not, I guess. I mean Victor versus Nocturne is really hard to gank until Nocturne 6. I think Red King's good anymore. Yeah, I think he's great. I'm playing him right now. It's a Red King game. So I'm gonna look at the dragon. See if he's there. He's not. See, I just ping so my team knows just in case he was there. No, no, no. Don't come. Okay, so now maybe we can gank mid because we have a good angle on him. See, but now it's all about just taking a good trade or something. This is like a flash here. See, so notice I hold my R, or no, I hold my uh, Q, because he's going to flash whenever I Q, so I don't want to be stuck, locked in my Q. I want to make sure that I can actually follow. He's level 4 to my 6, so I can fight him here if I want. Great autos. He can't do anything to me. Let's just play the ganks properly. Nocturne played it well as well. I want to make sure I don't walk into a stun, I want to make sure I can get what I get. And then I can go for my camps again. So like I said, get in a good cycle, you just repeat it. Repeat it. This is, this is your fundamentals, this is what you do. You find time after you're done with your camps. It's farm form objectives, baby. So, I mean, he should be around bot side. His red's up. Makes sense if he's down there. He's level 5, though. Level 5 ye isn't going to do anything for a gank. The things he supplies for a gank is very low impact. No. I just farm all my camps again. Look for something bot. And if not, then I go get the dragon or I reset and get the rift. I can do both, I mean, depends if I'm getting pressured. See, if you're not getting pressured, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Do whatever you want, whenever you want, man. I'm just gonna take a second to spawn. I'll just wait for him, actually. I have nothing else to do. Maybe I could have reset, but it's fine. It's been a decent reset time, but yeah, whatever. All my 5'9. Gwen gets a double kill, but I mean, Gwen's not a champion that opposes a threat to me. I'd say the only one that does is Victor, but um, he's not really going to be too much of a threat. This game, at least. Nocturne could just jump on him and pressure him. I think Red Kane is good anymore. Yeah, he's great. I'm going to play him this game. But yeah, I couldn't kill her down there, even if I try to fight. Dude, if enemy jungle keeps invading you, you avoid him and just play safe. Oh, that would have been a good reset time, because it's downtime. If you're not doing anything, you should be just resetting so you can get more item advantage. If you reset when you have nothing else to do, then that means you can stay on the map longer after the reset. Pretty much just want to make sure that you're on the map for as long as possible doing things. If you're doing nothing, then you should reset. You're not actually attributing anything. They didn't see me because they lacked vision, so maybe I get free orbs off Tarek here. Okay, cool. Hit out his ult. Get orbs. Hog you. Oh god, I should not have went back in. You know, I actually could have won that, I think. I could have won that, I think. Because the thing is, I could have flashed Eden the wall and then queued back with Smite. Oh, I didn't think I'd actually die there. I did not think I was going to die there. I don't want to be greedy, so I can get my form. Got blue cane. Could go blue cane here. Show you guys that blue cane works in these situations as well. Cane's not bad, yeah. Watch. A lot of people think that blue cane can't actually beat uh, Master Yi. I was gonna go red, but I guess I'll go blue. I have my red runes, but this kind of purple cane anyway. Wrong form is a little tragic. Well, if you ever think it's tragic, then just go whatever form you get first, and then you're vibing. I use R and Tarek, what I've got in my red form? Yeah, but I was trying to kill them both, not just get my form there, I don't think. Um. What? Like, what? <laughs> she hit me five times and my Draven hit her once. 
You go loser. Well, I mean, if you can't get your right form, then might as well just get whatever form you get first. Cool. I hold my W after he's done queuing, but I guess I didn't think he died in that one queue. Okay, so now is the time you get objectives. There's like no contest for it. Pretty easy too. But I also want to make sure that he's getting punished. Getting the objective doesn't punish him. This punishes him. This is what a lot of players don't do. So whenever you take something, you gotta take more from them. Do you have all that free time? Like, why not? Victor's reset. Nocturne should shove in and rotate top or bot, but he probably won't. I'll just gank bot again. I could die here too, this is kind of risky. It'd be really weird if, uh, what do we call it? I see you just ran straight here. Ay, ay, ay. Depends on your champion mobility? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm talking about Kane, not about other champs. Kane's kind of synonymous with doing things very fast. New items very oppressive for Kane. He pushes the tower, we kill him. Nice. Okay, cool. It does have a decently long CD time, so that's cool. He wastes exhaust and ult that early on, and his only way out. So I mean, best luck to you, man. I greeted back in just so I can kill him, but I didn't get the kill. I knew I could be greedy because my build isn't like typical assassin cane, it's more of like a tankier cane. It's a mixture of red and blue. You normally wait for your farm or just get it? I farm? I just get it, to be honest. Resolve tree now for Ross? Yeah, I've been liking it. How am I tonight? What's up, Subscroof? I'm good. Oh, whoops, I have that in the wrong key. Okay, this is a situation you have to watch. Okay, she just used everything, so I'm gonna take blue first. Sometimes you would stop doing your camp to help, but I'm kinda greedy when it comes to that. I like farming. I mean, they use everything, so they shouldn't die, right? Oh, they didn't use Terracar yet, though. Well, she should die, because she should get CC'd under tower. We'll see. Oh, no, she didn't. I think it's actually more important to just shove this in. Pretty big wave, to be honest. Of using a high mobility camp, by the way. If you notice, every time I make a play, I always just look to punish. Keep track of where the enemies are. One mid, one bot, one missing, one dead, one top at tower. Oh, Malphite.
I had no ult. I could have fought him. Could have got him really low. I see he's on that. No way he rushed here, right? Hey, it wasn't on it. My Raptor! But it's smarter I saved Smite for the Rift anyway. See, so notice, Massey has not a single camp on the map. There's only one place he can go, right? It's Krugs. Right? Only one place he can go. You just force them to be in a choke. You can only go in one place. Yeah, I get his mana and shit for free. It takes me like 0.1 second to do that. I just go oh, somewhere else and just poop. Hey, May May, what's up? Okay, watch out. He's not a dragon yet. Poor bot side, one missing top. It means he's probably. Oh no, he's not rotating. Okay. He's on it. We should go. Play it slow. He's gonna die. Ulti that guy. Exit the ult before. Eric ult runs out. And now we just play it slow. Slow, Twitch chat. Slow. Separate them here. Okay, so we're gonna lose this because they have Malphite coming, but. Yeah, the thing is, is that Fiora should be able to get tower. I'm surprised we don't get a kill though. God, Tarek is really broken. I didn't realize. It really is broken. I mean, I'll just get what I can get then. They really shouldn't overstay. I hope they don't die there. Wait, what? Fiora didn't get tower? Fiora is losing 1v tower. What? Huh? Let's just hit the tower. Huh? There was no one in your lane for like a full minute. You just walk up and hit it. <laughs> there you go. You could do that and then just queue out. Today we learned something, that's fine though. Dragon Lord, thanks to tier one. See, so do I have any items to carry this game? No. Yeah, I actually need to go Bluzer. You know what's kind of funny? This is a Red Cane build and I'm playing technically Red Cane. Red Cane game, but it's technically not Red Cane. Cane's a pretty X champ. What's X mean? Love to hear your opinion. On what, what does X mean? Well, that's not good. Sleepy Shinigami, thanks so much for the prime. Okay. Easy? Why is Kane an easy champ? I'm curious to hear. What's easy about him? Mobility is OP. So you're saying your your argument that blue cane is OP because he has high mobility? Really? 
I think a lot of champions have high mobility. I don't think that's ever made a champ OP though. I like if you say Kane's OP, you have to understand why he's actually OP. See, the thing is with Kane is he is really OP, but you have to be really useless for like 15 minutes in order to become OP. And the thing is, if you can get your form easy and lower you low, and that's like simple for you, then yeah, keep playing him because that's free wins. If you can get your form easy, you're always going to win with Kane. If there's no struggle in getting your form, you'll always win. The struggle is getting your form. That's the entire skill curve, is getting your form. At the appropriate time. A lot of people can't. That's why he's not played a lot in Challenger. Can there Fizz and his items to the dirt? Yeah, I haven't seen Fizz in a minute. Also a babe magnet, can? Yeah, kind of. Oh my god. The exhaust went crazy there, I'm not gonna lie to you. Malphite's ult here. I didn't do it. I could have dodged with my Q. He's easy to play but hard to master. That's fair. Eh, I'll take that. Yeah, that's, that, that sounds about right. Oh, do I have that really annoying sound bug? I do, don't I? Oh. I do. God, I hate this skin for that. Happens every day, too. There. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Kane's easy champ to play, hard champ to master. That's pretty fair. I just usually have to pick people's brains whenever they say Kane is easy, because I'm curious what they think is easy about Kane. Because truthfully, if you think that he's really easy, and you always get your form for free, then yeah, keep playing them. That's great. That's what I want to hear. That's exactly what I want to hear out of you guys. Like, I'm just saying that you're going to think he's really easy until you get to really high elo, and then you have to play in the early game matchups as first form Kane, and you're going to be very miserable. Why Conquer in blue? Oh, it's called Blizzer. Boy. Let me wait this out. <laughs> oh, we got the Baron. See, that's just a pick into objective play. Loser build. Why not man immune completion instead of executioner's play? I like the executioner is the most important in their team. The main issue with their team is the healing that they have. That's a, a large threat for us. Octone has TP. I mean, he should look to come, but I don't think he will. This is getting really nervous. Very nerve wracking, to say the least. They're gonna kill Draven, I think. Why did she ulti the Taric? What? good for like poke damage because you just poke them with your W. Executioner is good for like if you need to cut out the healing. That guy's kind of crazy isn't it? You might just want to imagine yourself as a bounty hunter. Try and figure out what exactly is stopping you from killing them and you know fix it. Anime is going to be good and then probably go Serpents or Blast Whisper. I probably shouldn't have gone Yumus but Yumus is just for the snowball. If you're snowballing high mobility equals more outplay potential plus more damage. So Edge of Night and Yumus this is kind of like a that's why I always say people that go into night are pussies, but I'll still go into night sometimes. It's because a lot of times you don't actually need to buy the spell shield. You can just buy Yumu's and that's enough of a defensive item because you're just going to dodge everything with your mobility, right? That's putting 
your skill at the test by getting more damage and more outplay potential as opposed to Edge and I, which is just an easy, you know, no no contest. You just get a free get a free um, spell dodge. But usually Yumu's is I like Yumu's more just because it makes you have to play better. So watch, this is just Gwen's. Getting very crazy, huh? Can I combo this? Nah, no, close though. I'm gonna chase down this guy. Oh, I'm glad Nocturne had the same idea as me. Really smart of him. Oh yeah, you can see the big brains are farming right now, boys. That was really smart. Now we just get the mid inhib. Please separate them. Don't let them. Don't let them be together. If the, you're playing against a team fight comp, figure out how to dissect comps. If you want to solo carry games and be really good, like listen. If you want to be good, you don't have to do this. But if you want to be really good, learn how comps work. Understand what makes them strong. They are a team fight comp. They work well in team fights. How do we win? We have to separate them. We have to kill them one by one. Look, we got his ult. Now we can look to do things more aggressive. If you want to poke him? Go for it. If you want to play it slow? You want to play it fast? You want to do all that? Figure it out and then learn. So this game, I mean, Blue Cane usually plays things slow and for picks. Ross goes in, he 1v5. So if you're good at team fighting, you're good at forcing fights, go Ross. If you're good at playing it slow, making picks, being smart, go Blue. They group all the time. If they're from a group, then just push the side lanes. Make them miss out on gold. Make, make them miss out on XP. I've seen that a lot in low elo. They'll do that. From a group. And then just farm the side lanes. Like, alright, go shove the side wave. Add pressure. Pressure the map. Always add pressure. But also make sure you're not giving up Baron. So I'm not going to go bot because Baron's up. Oh, they actually might be on it. I think they are. Yeah, I think they are. Wait, let me see. Speak of the devil. Holy shit. I think they got it. They did. Surprise. I'll slow them all. Maybe we could kill them all after here, though. Cool. What did I say? You beat E with CC. So we gave up Baron, but we played that really smart. Who in mid? Nah, I don't think we can win. I don't have the damage to kill her yet. So that was my fault for losing the bear in there. Because I was, you know, I was trying to give a point as to what they can do to counter what I was doing. And then I was like, wait up a second. What if they are doing that? Like, I realized too late. That was like a... I was like, oh wait, that is happening right now in the game I'm playing. That, this is actually what is going on. Oh, this can go crazy if she kills him. Or CC. Oh, she played that so well. Wow, that was amazing by Maxine there. She actually could not have done that better for me. She did everything she needed to do there. Perfect. That was amazing. Now they lost all the Barons. Now it doesn't matter. That's why sometimes you don't have to be worried about Baron. That was really good. She could not have done that better, actually. That was amazing. All she needed to do is get her CC off on one of them and they die. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, I'll probably go Grudge if I need it, I guess. Oh, if you guys learn how to farm, know what to buy, know who to focus, know when to fight, got you. Easy. Okay, this is just to separate myself. He has no ult. We can play this slow, just slow chase, honest to god. Separates. Okay, let him go in on me, whatever. Cool. Separate him. See, notice that. Do that every single fight. Figure out what is making them strong in fights and just abuse it. Don't stack up against Tarek. Alted him twice in one fight. That's kind of funny, isn't it? So that's why I went Grudge, because look, now I'm killing him. We have someone coming here, red. Wait, I thought it was red. Who came here? Who's the person that was coming? What? Oh, Axiom? Axiom's good. Situational. Games is really good, some games not. Mobility is nuts? Yeah, exactly. Kane is really nuts. It's, if you can get your form comfortably, I don't see any issue with you climbing. The, the problem with Kane is getting your form, to be honest. That's it. It's really easy when you get your when you get your form, but getting your form is the hard part. The champion's really 
easy to play as long as you get the try to axiom arc yeah it's really nice but this game i need some other items i think probably trade out my edge of night for um i really wanted more damage but it's cool Let's see so we just keep shoving top and bot make sure we split them how do you get red can uh if you get more um Healing champs than range champs. No, I need the blue. Sorry, bot. big boy. You're giving me mana. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was a fuck fest. So you bait their CDs and then now you go play it a little bit crazy, huh? I'm just waiting for my ult to go up. Keep that in mind. Oh, look, I knew he was going to do that. Yeah, go this way. Cool, you have no R, Tarek and Malphite. Just dodge that and we're fine. Ah. And they say blues are ain't good. And they say blues are ain't good, boys. Why do they say that? Why they say blue? Why they why they why they insult my boy Bluezer like that, huh? Why they do my boy Bluezer like that? Is there a reason to go Bluezer? Yeah. If you want to go red, but you get your wrong form, do you want to go blue? Go for it. Yeah. Listen, sometimes it can work. Like, honestly. Oh yeah, yo! They see my boy. How how dare they mistreat my boy Blue? How oh, dare they mistreat my boy Blue? That's that's audacity. Audacity. Jesus. Go back for the Draven. Look at their team. He can't play the game. Jesus. A lot of my team couldn't. Yeah, I could. <laughs> 